Israel's idiocy, spineless celebrities, and my mum hormones do not go together very well. I just really want to say that this video will help you raise awareness about bad celebrities and celebrities who are spineless and uh, are not willing to stand up for the oppressed people. And inshallah you can pass information forward and help the Palestinians but this video is not directly helping the Palestinians unless you donate to the cause inshallah. We're raising money for Gaza, HCI Canada, they're an amazing charity, I partnered with them before. We've been raising a lot alhamdulillah and yes there is a siege right now. Um, our charity are on the ground in Gaza where I get pictures, I get sent videos of them making food and stuff. Yes, resources are running out and there is no way of getting things in at the moment. And when the siege ends, the money will still be used to help the people, inshallah. So please keep donating, please, please, please. I'm going to be reacting to celebrities who are pro-Israel and their tweets and Instagram posts or whatever they've used to express their love for Israel. And I'm gonna remember that Allah's watching and it's important to stay good always and to try and understand things from both sides even though it's going to be really hard for me to understand both sides of the story here because I know a lot about what's going on in Palestine I have friends in Gaza but it's still important to be a good Muslim so I really want you guys to I urge you guys to boycott these celebrities not to watch their content not to follow them not to subscribe to them or whatever because People who are pro-Israel, you just don't want those people in your life. I'm sorry, you just don't want them in your life. She tweeted a picture of Palestinian kids and she said terror from the skies and put an Israel flag. And then she later deleted that tweet. Oh my God, there's... Are you serious? Did that actually happen? I'm sorry, but I've made mistakes before in tweets and stuff or whatever. I don't really use Twitter, but like Instagram. You can edit. Like they have a... They have an option to edit for a reason because sometimes we make mistakes. Like it's a genuine mistake. You saw a picture of Palestinian kids with terror in their eyes and you thought, oh, they're Israeli kids because everyone's telling you the Israelis are the victim and you posted it. Genuine mistake, it can happen. But then to delete it is saying that these children only valuable because they're Israeli, not if they're Palestinian, doesn't matter. They can have as much terror in their lives as they want children these children can have terror in their lives and can be scared for their lives can be shot at can be tortured and it's fine because they're palestinians but if they're israelis oh my god that's like the worst thing in the world this is literally what she's saying by deleting that tweet there is an edit button for a reason i'm sorry but jamie lee curtis all you had to do was go on twitter click that little edit button and go change that israeli flag to a palestinian flag that's literally all you had to do terror from the skies Palestinian flag it's literally that simple like it would have taken two seconds of her time how hypocritical that has made me so angry that is so hypocritical there's an agenda behind that she does not care about those kids she only cares about spreading pro-israel propaganda okay so Gal Gadot obviously she's pro-israel because she's probably killed Palestinians because she served in the Israeli army I stand with Israel you should too the world cannot sit on the fence when these horrific acts of terror are happening. Okay, so I agree with Gal Gadot. The world cannot sit on the fence when these horrific acts of terror are happening. I 100% agree. The world cannot sit on the fence. They need to understand that the Palestinians are being oppressed and they need to stand up. Because if they don't stand up, they're going to be on the wrong side of history. And, well, I agree with that one. So well done, Gal Gadot. Just got to switch that Israeli flag to the Palestinian flag and you're 100% correct. Okay, so The Rock. I'm surprised The Rock even like commented on this. I'm heartbroken, angry and sickened by the brutal murders and kidnapping of Jewish people. Okay, so he's, he's angry about the Jewish people being kidnapped and hurt. Okay, well, that's a thing, you know, you can be, you can be hurt by that. That's completely valid. Through the horrific acts of Hamas terrorist group. They're not a terrorist group. They're a resistance, but okay. The growing loss of innocent Israeli and Palestinian lives is heart-wrenching as this war escalates to immense proportions. Okay, so he's mentioned Palestinian. This is a little bit okay. The first bit is horrible, but the next bit's a little bit okay. I don't pretend to know everything about the complex conflict in the Middle East. 
Okay, well then put your PhD away and stop commenting on it if you don't know anything about it. It commands deep understanding, context and, context and nuance. What I do know is hateful acts of terrorism like these are never justified. They're never justified. I literally remember seeing on the news maybe a year ago now, there was a Ukrainian who bombed a bridge and killed himself and Russian soldiers to save his people. Again, the NFL mourns the loss of innocent lives in Israel and strongly condemns all forms of terrorism. But you don't condemn all forms of terrorism because Israel have been terrorizing Palestinians for 75 years. Like they've been terrorizing Palestinians for a very long time. You will find Israeli soldiers calling themselves terrorists. You obviously don't condemn terrorism because you haven't done it. You haven't condemned terrorism. So apparently Kylie Jenner posted, um, now and always we stand with the people, we stand with the people of Israel. But then she deleted it apparently. So, okay, so Jerry Seinfeld said, I lived and worked on a kibbutz, whatever that is, in Israel when I was 16 and I have loved our Jewish homeland ever since. My heart is breaking from these attacks and atrocities. Well, of course you love it because if you're a Jew in Israel, you're a king or a queen. But we're also a very strong people in our hearts and minds. We believe in justice, freedom and equality. You believe in equality? You believe in equality. We survive and flourish no matter what. I will always stand with Israel and the Jewish people. You believe in equality. But you haven't commented on the thousands of Palestinians that are being murdered. The kids, the children, the women. You, but that's not equality. You don't believe in equality. It's just a barefaced lie. So this person called Megan McCain, who I don't actually know who she is, so I'm sorry. Once again, my family and I stand with Israel and the Jewish people. Yesterday, today and tomorrow, always. Our hearts are completely broken. God may have mercy on the terrorist souls, but I assure you, America will not. There is no path but Zionism. She's there's literally saying there's no path but terrorism by saying there's no path but Zionism. And I don't see her getting cancelled or whatever. Okay, so Justin Bieber put a picture saying praying for Israel and I'm pretty sure the background of that picture is Gaza. What is he trying to say with that? Is he saying that he's praying for Gaza's destruction? I mean, I don't want to assume the worst. Maybe, I don't know, that's just such a random thing. Does he think that's Israel? Does he think that's a picture of Israel? I don't know. I don't want to try and second guess that because I could be wrong. Allahu alam. All I know is that maybe those people who have posted those things, some of them are good people, maybe some of them are not. Um, I don't know. Allahu alam. I don't want to judge. Maybe some of them are being forced to say those things. Maybe some of them are just completely ignorant. But if you don't know about a subject, just don't talk about it. You don't have to talk about it. That's the thing. All I know is that I wish that we just had our own like Islamic film industry where we just made halal awesome films and reminded people of Allah but had great stories and great plots and we didn't have to interact with any of these people because they're spineless, slaves to money, slaves to power and will just do anything to make sure that their Ferrari is more shiny than the neighbor's Ferrari and it's just not people we should be looking up to to be honest but anyway. I pray for Palestine, please donate if you have the means and don't give up, don't lose hope because I think freedom will come inshallah. I pray to Hajjad for our brothers and sisters.